Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I am Ines. And I am Seth. And we'd like to welcome you into our little home on wheels. It's an Iveco from 2015 and we bought it with almost 100,000 kilometers on it. Welcome in the master driver's seat. This is where I spend most of my time. Just a regular seat. I replaced the radio with my old car radio to get some tunes on. Up here we have some quick access to my drone and the GoPro so I can get a quick shot if I want to. Right here I have my drinking bottle. Ines has the same one on the other side. For the rest nothing crazy going on here. Behind the driver's seat we have all our coats and jackets. We have our outdoor table and two yoga mats. We have our vacuum cleaner hooked up here, which comes in really handy in the van because it gets messy real quick in here. We have our EHPO kit and that's it. When we get out of our driver's compartment, we pass our diesel heater which is installed by the guys at Yuga Camper Service. They did a great job. It comes with a temperature control. Right now it's 30 degrees. So uh, we're not really in need of a heater, but when it's winter time or in Belgium, it really comes in handy because it heats up the place in like 10 minutes. And it's just an amazing feature to have when you live full time in a van. So our heater totally runs off diesel. It's not using a lot of energy, only startup energy and energy from the ventilator. On Inessa's seat we have some bags hanging, like a camera bag, a beach bag, nothing special. Underneath the seat we have some extra tools. We have my bike battery laying around, a little toolkit, some electricity cable, just some things we need quick access to a lot of times. Then we have this huge storage area above the driver's cabin. In here we store um, a lot of clothes. Um, all of my clothes and a little bit of Seth's clothes. And there is also a bunch of stuff behind my clothes um, that we don't use on a daily basis. When we want to close off this cabin we have this curtain. So now it's nice closed off and we are in our main living area. Right here we have our bathroom with shower, which I'll talk about in a minute. But first I'll hand you over to my cooking queen Ines. I'm very passionate about cooking and I really wanted two countertops. The actual countertop come from Ikea and we just cut it into two pieces and they fit it perfectly. Right here we have our gas stove with two cooking pits. Underneath we have the gas bottle with storage for our cooking pans. Also we have a gas alarm right here for safety. Right here we have some herbs and seeds. All, oh. all my stuff. <laughs> then here we have some tableware, some storage for cable, chargers and batteries. We have a huge fridge. This is a 130 liter isotherm fridge. In the overhead cabin we have um, some tableware like plates, um, bowls, plastic bowls, all kitchen stuff. And in the second one, we have a uh, bathroom stuff. I cook a lot with fresh herbs. So I made myself this herb tray that fits in the herbs perfectly so they don't move when we are driving. Here we have a little tray where I put in some kitchen stuff which I frequently use, like cinnamon and seeds. 
We have our, our sink with our faucets with two functions. Um, this one and this one. <laughs> Right here we storage some dry foods like this delicious homemade granola. More storage for dry foods and um, like peanut butter, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this thing to storage my herbs. Behind this door we have our grey water tank, some towels and this is like a false door. It's not opening. So we have our grey water tank right here and our blue water tank of 85 liters right here. The grey water is about 35 or 45 liters. Underneath the grey water tank we have our water pump, accumulator tank, a lot of technical stuff. So we have water running to the faucet and to the shower. We can turn on our water pump right here with this switch. Next to it is our first light switch for these two lights. We can fill our blue water tank right here. It's 85 liters and it's still half full and I think we've been off grid for like three days now. Three and a half days. Our grey tank and we can empty it right here. This is about 35 liters but it's only grey water from our sink because the shower runs straight out of the van underneath but we don't shower with like shampoo and stuff it's just water that goes into nature so don't worry about that then with this one back with this one back in place come back in then I'd like to welcome you guys to our main living area this is like our Sitting area, sleeping area, working area, chilling area. It perfectly fits six people because we like to host people. We found it very important that we can give a seat to everyone. Right here we have our dimmable light switch for those four lights. And we have four USB outlets to charge our phones and camera stuff. Right here we have our we have Ines's favorite plant. We have our battery monitor uh, which tells us how much our battery is charged and smiley face so our battery is in good shape. We have three wall power outlets. I'm not going to give you guys an in-depth explanation of our electrics because I already made a video a few weeks ago and I will link it up there or there. <laughs> but we have a huge battery we have an inverter that converts 12 volt into 230 so we can have wall power. I will tell you guys that our 260 amp battery is only charged by our solar panel on top but I'll show you guys that in a minute. Our blender goes in here because you have to use every little space you got in the van. I wanted to keep it open so there is enough ventilation because the inverter can heat up a little and uh, I just want things to be safe. and not overheating. Both sides of our couch serve as storage area. These are our garages as we call them. Only this one is a little harder to access but we can do the table like this. In here we have our bed sheets. We have an extra piece of wood to make our bed. This actually is nice oak wood same as the table which I bought in the Netherlands because it's way cheaper over there. Here we have Ines's main storage garage. When we want to access the other garage, we do our table like this. Over here we have other sheets, a toolbox, because when you live on the road, you have to make stuff all the time. Then this is my garage. Here we have my garage, which is not as clean as Ines's garage, but we have like all the sporting equipment here, skateboards, we have surf gear, um, also like spare oil, raincoats, it's like really like a mess. Oh and we have this camp stove, this is a really nice thing, it's like a, opa, it's like an oven or a stove for on your gas burner so you can make 
cake or french fries uh, or other stuff but it's really nice I think it's quite expensive it's like 50 euros but it's a really nice thing to have because we as Belgians we like french fries or I like them we optimized our storage space because underneath our main living area we also have shelves Oops, really big ones um, with spare food like another mixer uh, cleaning soap this is just the messy shelf <laughs> up here we have some storage for books some other cables headphones computers stuff in here <laughs> It's my uh, clothing closet. It's a little messy, but uh, yeah. Let's keep it that way. In here we, uh, we have some books, some camera equipment. We have these snappers, which hold our closets close really well. They really don't open while driving, so that's nice. We have a fire alarm right here for safety reasons. Up here we have our bookshelf, which barely holds books. <laughs> we have uh, an extra mirror for Ines. We have our Bluetooth speaker right here, some pictures, candles. My ukulele, which I better leave there, I think. Otherwise Ines goes crazy because I'm still a beginner player. Another mirror, Ines wanted like a big, big mirror right here but it was super ugly so I told her okay you can get some extra mirrors so we have mirror one mirror two and then in the bathroom there are more it's really nice to just have the possibility to switch our table over there and we have a walkthrough to the outside world from the back we also have the possibility to enter the garage space Ness's garage we have some stuff I don't really know about we have some weights because Ines likes to sport a lot over here we also have an extra shelf this is our shoe shelf we have hiking boots surf boots just shoes okay Oh guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and go follow our Instagram page, Vanlife Ines and Zef. Welcome into the smallest room of our van. This is our bathroom with full shower. We have some random stuff in there all the time when we don't use it, like our poubelle. We have our self-composting toilet in here, which is DIY because we were out of money and we couldn't afford a real composting toilet. But I did a full video on how we made the toilet. So also I will link it up there. So if you want to check it out, check it out. When you want to take a private shower, you just close the curtain and put on the water. And you can have a quick, quick shower. It's really nice to have a shower in here. Really makes it feel like a home, like a full home. We have our toilet, we have our shower, we have our bed. Oh, I need to show you guys how we made the bed. Should we do that now? In our roof, we have a Fiamma turbo vent, which sucks air in. Or blows air out which is really nice we use it when we're cooking so it sucks the damp out when we're showering we also have it open always when we're sleeping because we like a nice fresh breeze when we're in sleeping mode which brings me to the bed I'll show you guys how we make this living area into our master king-sized bed garden we take out our table we 
had a super nice smoothie bowl and it's super hot today so we're going for a quick swim and then I'll take you guys up to the roof. Thank you. Uh, so we up here. This may be my favorite spot on the van. This is where I sit when I'm flying with the drone and having fun. Up here we have our surfboards. Ines has a soft top and I have a 20 with me all the time. We have some foam around these bars to protect the boards. Over there we have our 350 watt daylight solar panel which is our only electricity source and it's more than enough when it's sunny outside. When it's cloudy a few days in a row we have to be careful with how we use our electricity but when it's a few hours sun like this the solar panel reloads the battery in no time. Uh, it's a little bit windy out here, so let's go back down. You guys maybe noticed that we have some bikes laying around here. These are our two mountain bikes, Ines has a normal one, mine is electric. These are supposed to go at the back, but when we are somewhere for longer than a few days, we normally take them off so we can open up the doors. But because we leave tomorrow, it's time to get the bikes back on. It was nice to give you guys a little tour into our home. If you like this content and you want to see more van life travel or filmmaking, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.